Hello. So good to see you. I am Miranda Thomas, and I just stopped by for a brief moment to chit chat and encourage you. Today, in the world we live in, there is so much going on. We have things that are drilling at our emotional stability. And some of those things, you know, are like pedophilia, the coronavirus, genocide, identity crisis. These things have great effects on our emotions. I wanted to just encourage somebody today, listen, though you might feel like giving up, Though it might seem like this is too much, the load has gotten too heavy for you to carry, don't give up. Continue to stand in the midst of what seems like the end. Stand. Don't give in. Don't give up. And listen, if you have messed up, if you're feeling like a failure in this time of your life, in this time in the world today that we are living in and you're you're you you just don't feel like you know this is for you or you you're going to make it continue i encourage you to do what you're doing that is of god if you're praying continue to stand and pray if you're fasting continue to stand and fast if you are just crying out to the name of jesus continue to do that don't stop doing what you're doing. You may say I'm too weak to fast. Well, keep praying if that's what you're doing. You may say I'm too, I'm too whatever, you know, but find something godly that you can anchor yourself in and continue to hold on to that thing until God shows up. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He hasn't forgotten about you. He sees where you are. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. He will come rescue you where you are. Don't give up. You might be here saying, I don't know God, yet I'm still suffering in my emotions. What do I do? I want to encourage you to stand as well. Don't quit. Don't sit down. Don't take down. Fight. Fight. Even though your emotions may, may be telling you, do this do that you know maybe depression is hitting you and it's telling you to be sad it's telling you that you're not good enough it's telling you that you'll never be nothing you have an ability within you that you may not know about and it's called strength it's called strength tap into your strength tap into the inner you and begin to speak to that depression begin to speak to those things that are weighing you down and causing your emotions to become dysfunctional in this time frame of your life and fight them. Begin to speak positive over your life. Begin to say, even though I feel like a failure, I'm not going to speak that I'm a failure. I'm going to act as though I'm going to move as though I am somebody. I am going to operate in love. Even though love does not surround me, I'm going to be better. I'm going to do better. I'm going to live. I'm coming out of depression. I'm coming out of anger. I'm hey, I'm coming out of suicide. Come on, talk to yourself. Be your own coach today and remind you that you can make it. Don't give up. When you don't know what to do, continue to do what you do. Do what you know to do that keeps you afloat, that doesn't stress you. If you have to take a walk every day, come on somebody, take a walk. If you gotta go have a conversation with somebody, go have a conversation. Do not give up, don't allow your emotions 
to get the best of you in this time frame of your life. Listen, you heard this from Orenda Thomas. I just wanted to stop in and encourage you just a little bit to not give up, to continue to stand even after you've done all to stand and know that rescue 911 help is on the way.